purple dress code at Oroville's Wagon Wheel Market, but it seems most customers come in wearing orange or yellow, vest included. Lots of the dam workers, yeah. Have a good day. Kelly Hoops feeds the men and women racing against a November deadline to reconstruct Oroville Dam's primary spillway. In the afternoon like this, the girls were shoulder to shoulder. We were all doing something. Nobody's just sitting around twiddling their thumbs. The spillway's February failure responsible for new opportunity, says the market's owner, Patrick Butler. We're fairly optimistic about just everything. You know, that's what we try and look at things. You know, there's good in everything. So good, the spillway crisis is now making for the market's best business in 40 years. We haven't had the boat traffic, but the construction on the rebuild has, has well more than made up for that. Patrick has increased staff by more than 50% in the last six months and still finds it hard to keep up with demand. We make a lot of things here. They like our, our brats, our, our you know, marinated chicken, our marinated tri-tips, our deli, you know, the girls back there doing a phenomenal job. The other job at hand, of course, is the spillway. DWR said today the finished product will be a fully constructed flush and smooth chute, one they said is on schedule despite the huge chasm in the hillside. The department added that it's impressed with the progress, but acknowledged the timeline is, quote, absolutely aggressive. Eyes wide open. Everybody's well aware of what needs to be done, and everybody's doing everything to accomplish those goals. If history is on DWR's side, the primary spillway likely would not have to be used before the November 1st deadline. The department says it's been used four times before January 1st in 49 years. Overall, the spillway's been used in just 26 of its 49 years.